Hello, how to evaluate this with a calculator? This is 81 to the power of 4 minus 81 to the power of 3. Now, I'm going to express this for here as summation of 3 and 1 because we have 3 here already. So I have 81 to the power of 3 plus 1. This 3 plus 1 is 4. Then we have minus 81 to the power of 3. Now, if you have a power n plus m, this equals a power n times a to the power of m. I apply this identity right here. That means I'm simply going to have 81 power 3 times 81 power 1 minus 81 power 3. So at this point, I can factor out 81 power 3. It appears here and also appears right here. So I have 81 to the power of 3 times. This will divide 81 power 3. I have 81, which is the same thing as 81 power 1. Minus, this will divide 81 power 3. I have 1. So from here, I will simply have 81 power 3 times 81 minus 1 is 80. So we are trying to find the value of 81 power 3 times 80. Now for us to achieve that, I need to consider this other identity. Remember, if I have 81, this is just like writing 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 times 7 to the 7 times 3, that's 81. So 81 is simply 3 to the power of 4. Then, I will replace this 81 here with 3 power 4. So, what I'm going to have will be this equals 3 to the power of 4, which is this 81, raised to the power of 3 times 80. Now, we have an identity here, so let's Make use of this if you have a to the power of n raised to the power of n. This equals a power n times n. So from here we have 3 to the power of 4 times 3. This is 12 times 80. We need to find the value of 3 power 12 then multiply by 80. I can also express this as 3 power 12 is simply 10 plus 2 times 80. And at this point, if you have a to the power of n plus m, this equals a power n times a power m. I apply that here. That means I'm simply going to have 3 to the power of 10 times 3 to the power of 2 times 80. So I need to find the value of 3 power 10 times 3 power 2 times 80. So from here I have, what is the value of 3 power 10 that I don't know? I will get it times 3 power 2, this is 9, times 80. All right, let's find the value of 3 power 10. I can easily express this 3 power 10 as 3 power 5 times 2. I have 3 power 10 equals 3 to the power of 5 times 2. Then I can simply express this as 3 to the power of 5 or 3 power of 2. And from here, I can find the value of 3 power 5. 3 power 5 is 3 times 3 times 3 times into 5 places, and that is 243. Remember, 3 power 4 is 81. So 3 power 5 will be 81 times 3, which is 243. So we have 
243 raised to the power of 2. So let's find the value of 243 raised to the power of 2. This is 243 times 243. 3 times 3, 9, 3 times 4, 12, 2 carat over 1. 3 times 2, 6 plus 1, 7. 4 times 3, 4 times 3 is 12, 2 carat over 1. 4 times 4, 16 plus 1, 17, 7 carat over 1. 4 times 2, 8, 8 plus 1, 9. Then we consider 2 times 3, that is 6, 2 times 4, 8 2 times 2, 4. We add out everything together. So this is 9, this is 4, this is 20, 0 carat over 2 out here. This becomes 19, 9 carat over 1 out here, this is 5. 5, 90, 4, 9. So this is 5, 90, 4, 9 times 9 times. 18. So we can multiply this out. 594 9 times 9. I have 594 9 times 9. 9 times 9, 81. 1 carry over here. 9 times 4, 36. 36 plus 844. 4 carry over 4. 9 times 0, 0, 0 plus 4, I have 4. 9 times 9, 81, 1 carry over 8. 9 times 5, this is 45. 45 plus 8, that will give you 53. So this is 531, 441. That is for 590, 49 times 9. So the next step will be to multiply this by 18. So I have 531, 441 times 80. So let's multiply this out. First and foremost, I will multiply this by 0. 531, 441 times 0. Or let me multiply by 8 first before then I will add 0 to it. So 8 times the whole of this, 8 times 1, that is 8. 8 times 4, that is 32, 2 carat over 3. 8 times 4 again, 32, 32 plus 3, 25, 5 carat over 3. 8 times 1, that is 8, 8 plus 3, 11, 1 carat over 1. 8 times 3, 8 times 3 is 24, 24 plus 125, 5 carat over 2. 8 times 5, 8 times 5, 40, 40 plus 2, that is 42. Then, what we are going to do will be to also use 0 to multiply everything here, because there is 0 here. So you have plus 0 times 1, that is 0, 0 plus times 4, 0, 0 times 4, 0, 0 times everything here is 0. So this 0 here will just be added to this. Not like this plus 0, it will signal you add the 0 right here. After the 2, eight, you add 0. So this simply means that, let me write add, add 0, 4, 2, 5, 1, 5, 2, Add zero to it because of this zero. So you are going to have four two five one five two eight zero because of this zero. When multiplies everything, it will change to zero. So you add zero to this number here after multiplying by eight. So this becomes your final answer. So the final answer is this is forty two million five hundred and fifteen thousand two hundred and eighty without the use of calculator so that is it thank you and goodbye